Hey everyone, today we're going to learn all about proportions. And when learning about those, it's important to understand that proportions are two quantities that have something called a constant ratio or unit rate. And that just means a relationship or pattern between two amounts that remains the same. And we'll see some examples to really understand that a little better. So recently I went to a theme park and I thought of some ways that we can use real life math at the theme park. So I noticed that one ticket cost $109 at this theme park and three tickets cost $327. Five tickets cost $545. So the first thing I like to do is think about those two variables and think about which one is the independent variable, which one is the dependent variable. So let's kind of review those two terms a little bit. An independent variable can stand alone and it's not affected by the dependent variable. The, the dependent variable, on the other hand, it can change based on that independent variable. So in this example, those tickets are the independent variable because they are just, you know, I could give you any amount of tickets and it's not necessarily going to change based on the cost. Now the cost on the other hand is going to change based on how many tickets you buy. So if I, you know, if I buy seven tickets, it's going to be more expensive. If I buy two tickets, it's going to be less expensive. So that is my dependent variable. So now let's figure out that constant ratio or unit rate. So how much does it cost for one ticket? Yeah, $109. Now let's see if that pattern is the same in our three ticket and our five ticket example. So what is the pattern or rule or relationship to get from three to 327? So I like to write it as a division problem. So 109 divided by one was 109. Now, can you pause the video and find out what is 327 divided by those three tickets? Okay, I got 109 also. Now let's pause the video again and find out the five tickets. So $545 divided by five. Yeah, 109 again. So that's why we're using the word constant. So think of it this way, it's constantly, no matter how many tickets you buy, it's gonna have that relationship of $109 involved in it. And another name we can give this $109 is the constant of proportionality, which means the same thing as a constant ratio or a unit rate. Okay, now I think we're ready to move over to the whiteboard and try some more problems out. Another example is one of the rides at the theme park has a constant of proportionality or a constant ratio between the meters that it's traveling and the seconds that it takes. So I have this example here written down. So meters and seconds. And this example is that we traveled 90 meters in five seconds. And we want to know the constant of proportionality. And so what problem do we need to do? What calculation do we need to do to find that constant? Yeah, 90 divided by five is gonna give us that amount. So why don't you pause the video and find that constant? All right, you got it. 90 divided by five is 18. 
So that means that we're traveling 18 meters per second, so for one second. Okay, now I wanna show you that we can take your skills of plotting information on a coordinate grid to go along with proportionality. So if we know that the unit rate is 18 meters per second, then we can start filling in some information. So one second is 18. So I'm gonna go close to the 20 meter mark. Okay, and then what would two seconds be? based on that constant ratio. Remember that that's going to stay constant or the same uh, no matter how many seconds we choose. The seconds are the independent variable and the meters are dependent upon how many seconds we are traveling. So meters are the dependent variable. So what would two seconds be? You got it, 36. Okay, three seconds. You got it, 54. Okay, four seconds. Okay, you got it, 72. And then finally, five seconds. We know from the original problem that we were traveling 90 meters in five seconds. Okay, and then I want us to also think about something. What about zero seconds? Yeah, it, it kind of makes sense. We would travel zero meters in zero seconds because we haven't even started the ride yet. So there needs to be one of our points is right there. And then that creates a graph that shows that constant ratio. Great job. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.